Hello and welcome back to another Team Tiny Hop. This is Penny with Pod Popper's Place and this month we are doing cards with an ice cream theme. When I heard that we would be doing an ice cream theme, I immediately thought, oh no, because a few years ago my only ice cream theme stamp set was destroyed in flooding that we had in our basement which is where my crafty hole is. And so I had to think quickly and I did have this one little set, um, this ice cream truck set from Stampin' Up. It is older, it is discontinued. And then I also had this MFT stamps set with the girls. And I believe it may be discontinued as well, though you might be able to find it on other websites. Uh, it is girls that are um, singing and they're holding microphones and I thought well I could take this microphone out of her hand and put the ice cream cone into her hand. So this is what I'm attempting to do and my backup plan was to buy a digital stamp online and use that instead. So but I wanted to try this first and it was a little challenging because I had to be very careful to make sure to stamp only the portion of the girl without the microphone and of course the first time I stamped her I did not do that so I had to redo it and it actually worked fairly well I was pretty pleased that it came out so well and so I stamped her without the microphone and then I stamped the ice cream cone and the truck and I did use a uh, clear embossing powder on those as well to make it easier to color and, and stay within the lines. As you can see, I had to use my tiny little square VersaFine ink pad to get the ink on the girl without getting it on the microphone since it was kind of in the middle of the stamp. And then I went back also and added some of the little fun embellishments to the ice cream truck. There's a flag on top and the little banner going through the window. and. Um, I think it's a really cute little truck. It's, it's really fun. I have to say I did use my VersaFine Claire uh, gray color here on the truck and going back, I wish I had used the black as I did it on the girl because uh, when I go to color everything in, you can just tell that the truck is, is lighter and I had intended for it all to be the lighter color, but because I needed to use the small square to ink the girl and, and not get that microphone, I kind of didn't realize that I had done that until later. I just used a fine tip marker to fill in the girl's dress um, where the microphone was kind of cutting into it. And then the blank part is covered up by the ice cream cone, thank goodness, because I'm not an artist and I didn't want to try and fill more of that in. Then I used a sharp blade to cut into the stamp area where the hand is so that I could tuck just the very tip of the ice cream cone in there. I didn't want to push it down too far because then it wouldn't cover up the blank part of the stamp area, um, but I did want to make sure it looked like she was actually holding it in her hand. It did take me quite a bit to cut through this and I had to be very careful, so please be careful with those sharp knives, um, but I had used a very heavyweight cardstock for this and so it took me a little bit to cut all the way through and get a nice little um, hole to put the ice cream cone into. Originally I had left my coloring in, but the video got kind of long and I'm really not that great of a colorist, so it's it wasn't necessary to leave it in. But um, I did use the uh, scan and cut to cut out my ice cream truck because I don't have the die set for this stamp set. And you know, I, I like my brother's scan and cut, but it doesn't always leave the nicest edges and I probably could have gone a little bit smaller on the white space around it, but I wanted the detail around the tires left there. And so I kind of had to trim it and kind of get those pointy edges off. And then I had the dies for the girl, so she cut out much more nicely. I decided I wanted to create this scene and I have this 3D uh, cloud folder from Altenew. Please excuse my cord, it fell down and my foam's getting low, so I do get that out of the way here in a second. And I just wanted the clouds at the top portion of the card and so I could set the scene with a little roadway and the ice cream truck on the road and the girl standing forward because obviously she's quite a bit bigger than the ice cream truck so I needed her to appear that she was closer to the scene 
um, and that the ice cream truck was further in the background. I wanted to add some color in the sky and I didn't really intend for it to look more like sunset, but that kind of is how it turned out. Um, but I do like the colors um, of the background. They are a lot more bright colored than the ice cream truck colors. And if I would have kind of thought that out a little bit better, I think I would have maybe changed the ice cream truck colors um, to more match the background, but it is what it is. And these are always a work in progress, right? And I just use um, some old, old Stampin' Up! craft pads, which are very much like the Distress Oxide um, pads, where it's much more creamy, it just blends much nicer. Uh, the regular ink pads um, just don't blend as nicely, so I really wanted that to have a nice blend with the sunset there. So very quickly, I wanted to show you how I use the 3D folders because they are so thick, it's very hard to use them the way you do a traditional embossing folder where you flip up the two parts of the um, Big Shot pad, uh, die cut pad, and just use the two clear plates in between. It will not go through that way. It just, I'm afraid it would break a Big Shot. So the way I do it is um, the regular Big Shot platform with everything down and then one of the uh, cover plates on top of the embossing folder and it will go through, it will give you a good impression and um, that's the safest way I found to use the 3D embossing folders. If you have another way, I would love to hear it. So apparently I didn't press record as I was doing some of this other work, but I used the masking tape over cardstock um, technique to create this shiny roadway with my old road um, die cut. I believe it's from MFT stamps. And then this grass die from Tailored Expressions. And then I ended up coloring in some brown so that there was, because there was a gap between the roadway and the grass, and so I wanted it to look like there was, you know, that kind of uh, dirt area on the side of a road. Um, and so I'm sorry I lost that footage, but um, it was pretty obvious here what I, what I did. So um, hopefully you don't get confused by any of that. Um, and if you don't know the masking tape technique, there's quite a few ladies on um, YouTube, I'm sure, that have shown it, and um, it's really kind of cool to give you that glossy effect. So I just have to clean up some areas. I always seem to manage to get something on my card and have to kind of fix some things. So, um, and maybe you can't see my little mistakes on here with a video, which is awesome because there were some, but I, all in all, I just popped up the little girl and added some little, you know, shine and stuff to her and um, the background. And I, I thought it turned out really cute. Um, I'm going to turn this into a birthday card because on the front it says you're the sweetest and um, I just think it's a fun little card. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new and uh, later you can see at my end pictures I did add some flowers because it just needs a little extra something. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out all the other designers from Team Tiny. You can find them all by searching hashtag Team Tiny Ice Cream Hop.